Third anniversary of an immortal battle is a day of pilgrimage in Arnhem, the small Dutch town with whose name the 1st Airborne Division is linked in glorious memory. Still bearing the marks of that grim struggle of 1944, Arnhem gave a warm welcome to 500 British guests, the next of kin of many of the fallen heroes. The climax of the day's commemoration centred round the memorial at Arnhem Bridge, once the scene of some of the bitterest fighting of the war. Here, close by the shattered church, the children of Arnhem led the first act of homage. Later, at the Airborne Division's own cemetery, Holland and Britain joined in a more personal tribute, visiting the resting places so long tended with loving care. Others of the party scattered ashes from the small wooden crosses planted in Westminster Abbey's Field of Remembrance. Prince Bernhard of the Netherlands, who had flown specially from Scotland for the ceremony, laid a wreath on behalf of the Dutch royal family. Close by, at the village of Oosterbeek, a newly completed monument formed another landmark of the Airborne Division's desperate battle. Here, Brigadier Lathbury, DSO, who himself took part in the fighting, led the simple ceremony. Another veteran of the battle, Sergeant Modahan, laid a wreath in the name of all who wear the red beret. In every part of the ceremony was felt the deep and undying sense of gratitude to the men who laid down their lives in bringing freedom to the soil of Holland. So, once again, the British and Dutch peoples proudly salute the men of Arnhem whose glory will shine undimmed whenever stories of bravery are told.